Today's a big day for me, Sean, Minted New York in general. We signed a lease on a warehouse space to store and ship products from. Uh, super exciting right now. I'm on my way to U-Haul to pick up a U-Haul truck so we can move some of the stuff that's been stored in our apartment slash in our apartment complex uh, over to that warehouse, free up some space finally. It's been uh, over a year of just living in essentially a makeshift warehouse in our apartment, uh, but that's all part of it. So it's, it'll be good to get some space back from, or some living space back, I should say. So I'll take you along, show you the warehouse, show you the space. It's, uh, it's exciting, nerve wracking, but exciting. Rent's not cheap, it's New York City. <laughs> we just got a pretty decent amount of snow. So the city's kind of a mess still, still like cleaning it up. It's nice when it initially snows and then you're just left with this everywhere. It's like dirty snow on corners and stuff. Fun fact about this building. I used to cater events, like passing hors d'oeuvres and food and stuff for money uh, a couple years ago. Just trying to make extra cash to have, so. It's kind of surreal walking past some of the places that we did those events, um, you know, passing drinks, passing food, stuff like that, back, uh, and to see where we are now, it's kind of come full circle. And for extra cash, the money was not bad. It was $50 an hour, so five hour minimum. Got the truck, 10 inch, a 10 inch box truck, because if we went any bigger, we wouldn't be able to use certain tunnels, as far as I understand it. Now, I could be dead wrong about that, but I made sure to look up what the clearance height was and everything uh, so that we wouldn't be restricted. Restricted. So hopefully, we can fit everything into this box truck here, and we're chilling. Well, we have space now about 4,000 square feet of it. And I, yeah, for a first warehouse, I guess it's as good as it can get. <laughs> um, we really probably have a lot more space than we need. Um, obviously like, actually, I don't know. With all the product we're bringing in, I think we'll, the space will fill up pretty fast. I need to get things for pallets like pallet stands. We'll have packing all through here. We'll have an assembly line from there all the way through to that wall um, for packing orders. I don't know. I, I struggle with like, what is gonna be the best way to lay out the space? Because right now it's obviously just empty. Um, and everything needs to be efficient. Problem is, what's the most efficient way to lay it out? I don't know. So I think what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna mock up the space in Illustrator, and I'm gonna have a couple different layouts, see if we can't figure out the most efficient way of laying it out originally. The thing is, there's iteration after you go through a drop, right? So we'll release stuff, and there will be parts of the process that we need to change. And we can reiterate after a release, take a step back and gather ourselves, re refigure. But for now, we're gonna unload the truck and get stuff in here. You ever just biking by someone or walking by someone and like you realize that all of these people are just living their own lives? Their own problems? Like, it's actually insane. Podcast finished. We interviewed our first intern at Minted New York and it went pretty well. Yeah, we got to learn some things about him. You know, we really only talk over Slack. We've only had one phone call with him, so that's good fun. All right, we 
set up some of the warehouse. We took delivery of a bunch of stuff off the truck. Uh, and right now we are packing up the envelopes with the card going in the box with the prints linen card linen envelope stickers that will be with the prints as well packing those up trying to get them ready for the prints varsity jacket sample Just fell on the ground. Got some items. Still pretty barren. Have to get the floor cleaned. Beginning of the pre-workout boxes. Tell you what, this was heavy as hell. It was so hard to get this onto the feet. These but uh, we managed to get it done. Quick update regarding crewnecks and the Run Club hoodie restock. The factory that I work with in China they are on Chinese New Year holiday, which is a two week break um, where there is no work done, which is completely fine. It just pushes our timeline out a little bit further. So after Chinese New Year holiday, which I think ends around February 14th ish, then the Run Club hoodie that are restocking should be shipped out uh, by boat, then it'll take about 30 days. So I'm thinking toward the middle to end of March, we should have product um, for the Run Club hoodie restock and crew neck release. I think the beanies will also be included in that. And then the active wear, the performance wear, t-shirts and quarter zips are finished. They should be delivered toward the end of February, early March. So I think March is going to be a big month for releases. However, I can't give any specifics because I don't know specifics yet.